was the best team in the NFL. We're finally through six weeks in the NFL, and bro, the NFL's getting lit. We've had a lot of good games. We've had a lot of bad games, but we got some teams that have been hooping, bro. We got some surprise teams. We got two 5-0 and teams, and we got a lot of bad teams. I'm going to be honest. We got a lot of bad teams. The quarterback play has been better. Um, the running backs look good. Wide receivers look good. And yeah, let's get straight into it and start ranking some of these teams. We got Super Bowl contenders. We got playoff teams. We got the fringe playoff teams. Like, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It's maybe a little early. We're a third of the way through the year, so there's a lot of time left. We got mid. It's like you're not making the playoffs. You're not ass ass, but you're not making the playoffs. Then we got almost ass ass. Um, then we got ass ass, just straight ass, like buns, bro, like booty, like more ass than ice spice type. You feel me? But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we got the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna say Arizona Cardinals are mid, bro. Start of the season, um, I thought they were gonna be a fringe playoff team, um, but Marvin Harrison's just not enough on the outside. Like Michael Wilson's solid, Dorch is cool, Trey McBride's an up and coming tight end, but they just don't have enough, bro. They need another, you know, like top receiver, and Marvin Harrison just needs time to become that top receiver. But shout out Kyler, I like James Conner. Their defense is a bucket of bolts. Um, they're no bueno. Uh, the Falcons, that's a playoff team. Um, they're playing really well. Bijan finally getting the ball in the red zone. Had two touchdowns last game. Kyle Pitts, deep ball, 52-yard catch. Uh, Drake London looks like a true wide receiver one in the NFL. And like I keep saying, bro, the Falcons have a good defense. Like, I don't know, those two safeties up top are insane. Um, I don't know how you stop that. But the best team in the NFL is the Ravens, bro. Uh, four straight wins. Could be 6-0, and if I'm going to be honest. They choked the game and lost by that much. Um, because of someone's big toe. But that's besides the point. The Ravens, dynamic duo, uh, Lamar and Derrick Henry. Zay Flowers also looks like a wide receiver one. Rashad Bateman and Nelson Aguilar have come along. Um, Mark Andrews finally had a decent game. And they got Isaiah Likely too, bro. Uh, that defense is good. Got one of the best middle linebackers in the game. They got good corners, good safeties. Uh, Kyle Hamilton, Hamilton can play all over the field. So that's a tough team right there. The Bills just beat the Jets on Monday Night Football. We just watched like an hour ago in real time. Um, this video will probably be posted on a Tuesday, but that don't matter. The Bills look cool, bro. Like, their defense has um, some holes. Um, there was a lot of penalties tonight. That was a bad game. But, yeah, the defense has some holes, but um, I think they'll be okay when it comes to playoffs. If Josh Allen's your quarterback, bro, you have a chance to win every game, if I'm going to be honest. He's not on the Mahomes level. You have a chance to win every game, but you have a chance to win every game. Uh, the P Carolina Panthers, shout out Andy Dalton for trying. Um I think that next year they could have some pieces. Like, they could go 500, like 9-8, and 8-9 eight, eight and uh, with Bryce Young playing quarterback. He needed a year to sit, bro. He wasn't ready to start all last season. Um, yeah, it was bad. The Bears. Like, normally I would put the Bears as a playoff team, but the fact that everybody in the NFC North has at least four wins, but the Bears having being 4-2, and two, the technically last in their division, can everybody in a division make the playoffs? Yes. But the Bucks and the Falcons, I think both of them make it as well. So I got to put the Bears as a fringe playoff team because, I don't know, bro. Like, there's going to be a lot of head-to-head -head games in that division. And I just don't think the Bears are coming out on top in a lot of those. Like, I don't think the Bears are going to beat the Lions. I don't think the Bears... The Bears are going to split the other two, I think. Like, they probably split the Vikings and they probably split the Packers. But I think they lose both to the Lions unless the Lions have a bad game. Maybe I'm glazing the Lions. I don't know. The Bengals... Not making the playoffs, but they're not a bad team. Uh, they got a great offense. Chase Brown, I think his name's Chase Brown, or whatever the Browns' name is. Sidney Brown plays the Eagles. Chase Brown looks dynamic out of the backfield, hella fast. Then you got Lamar and T. Higgins. Uh, I think I could firmly say T. Higgins is the best wide receiver, too, in the NFL over Waddle, over uh, Puka, over Devontae Smith, over them boys. I think I'd give T. Higgins the number two, because I think he'd be a real number one if he was a number one. But so for the other guys. But I, I'll give him the top tier right now. Uh, the Browns, ass, ass. Like, the Eagles should have blown them out. But, like, it's not even all Deshaun Watson's fault. As I said in the wide receivers video, like, he's got no blocking. He's the most sacked quarterback. Uh, his wide receivers have the most drops in the NFL. And Nick Chubb's not playing. Maybe Nick Chubb comes back, like, they start winning a few games, but they're not making the playoffs. And they're actually ass, ass. Um, the Dallas Cowboys. This week, they were ass, ass, if I'm going to be honest. But it's the Cowboys, bro. They got CeeDee Lamb. They got Dak. Not saying Dak is a whole lot, but once Michael Parsons comes back, I think Deron Bland's going to come back this season. They're going to have a better secondary. Um, they're going to be a fringe playoff team because 
if you don't win, if you don't win the NFC East, bro, it's going to be tough to make the playoffs with all these other teams in the NFC that are looking good right now. Because, you know, you have three winners. It's probably going to be the Lions, um, the Falcons or the Bucks will win, and then, like, the Eagles or the Commanders, maybe the Cowboys win. So then there's the Bears, the Packers, the Eagles, uh, the Cowboys, the Falcons. That's five teams for three spots of the wild cards. So, oh, I forgot about the NFC West, but the Niners are probably going to clear and clean that up. Uh, the Seattle doesn't look good. Cardinals don't look good. And the Rams, I don't know. But maybe one of those teams gets healthy and gets good. So, like, uh, the NFC is looking pretty tough this season, if I'm going to be honest. The Broncos, they're almost ass, bro. And I'm only saying this because I bet on them and they lost. Like, I was actually sick. I would have won so much money if they won. So this might be a little biased because they do have three wins. And Bo Nix doesn't look too bad. But they lost the bet. So they're going in. They're almost ass. Um, the Lions, that's a Super Bowl contender, bro. Lions are Super Bowl contenders. Um, this is what I think the Super Bowl is going to be. These two teams up top. Ravens, Lions, what everybody wanted last year, but we didn't get because, you know, they both lost and then we got the two teams that we didn't want to be in the Super Bowl, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the Super Bowl contenders right there. Um, the Lions look really good. The Packers. I think the Packers are also on the fringe, bro. Because I don't know if I like the Bears better than them, bro. I don't know if I want Bears or Packers, who I think is better. Um, they're both really good teams right now, though. But I think the Bears might have an edge because they have a better defense. Um, and the Bears' offense lately has been looking just as good, if not better, than the Packers. So I'm going to put them as a fringe team. Uh, the Texans, they're chilling. they got a really bad division. So I think they're going to have an inflated record this year because they're going to probably sweep their division because their division is buns. Um, but... They're a playoff team. Like, they're going to win the division. There's no way they're not a playoff team. The Colts, Colts are almost ass. Let me see Anthony Richardson come back and play. Jonathan Taylor come back and play. Um, Alec Pierce is one of the best deep threats in the game, I guess. Uh, Michael Pittman looks good. Josh Downs is pretty good. That's an underrated uh, trio of wide receivers. So we'll see what we'll see what happens with uh, Indianapolis. The Jags, ass, ass. I don't even want to talk about the Jags. Uh, Chiefs are 5-0. and They have Patrick Mahomes, always a Super Bowl contender when you got Mahomes. Like, he's got five wins with me at receiver, bro. No disrespect to them boys, but, like, they ain't nobody, like, super special, you know? Like, Rasheed Rice is out, and he's throwing to, you know, whoever, bro. Like, Juju Smith, Ju Boo Boo Smith-Schuster just had a crazy game. Shout out Juju, though. He's tough. Um, but, yeah, I had to say Boo Boo Smith, you know, it's funny. Shout out AB, too. Uh, CTSPN, yes, sir. Um, the Raiders. <sighs> the Raiders. I think the Raiders are ass ass, man. I think the Raiders are ass ass. They just lost by a dub at home. Y'all saw the fans? That was so many terrible towels in the stands, bro. They have no fans, bro. Um, Chargers not making the playoffs, um, but they're mid. Justin Herbert's good, bro. I like Justin Herbert. Uh, the Rams, nah, not yet. I can't give them. I can't give them fringe playoff team yet, bro. Cause what do they have? What are they? One and four. Right? They're 1-4, and four, bro. 1-4 and four making the playoffs is crazy. Um, they are not healthy, so that means a lot. But, yeah, the Dolphins, another team, high-powered offense, and they just suck. Like, there's three teams in here that have high-powered offenses, but they're not good. Like, the, the Dolphins, 2-3, and three, play the Colts next week. That'll be a shit game, but, hey, it is what it is. Um, the Vikings, the more I see the Vikings play, the less I like them. I don't think they're going to sustain this all year. Yeah, I think Brian Flores is a great defensive coordinator and has a lot of good schemes. Um, they didn't even play to the end. They dropped from Super Bowl contenders. It's actually crazy. But just looking at all these other teams, um, I don't have them as, you know, I don't think they're the best team in their division. Uh, so I don't have them that high. But shout out the Vikings, bro. They do have a tough test against the Lions. If they beat the Lions, they'll probably be right back up in Super Bowl contenders, and I will be proved wrong. Uh, the Patriots, ass ass for Shody. Um, the Saints, Almost ass ass. They've lost four games in a row. They look terrible. Uh, they just got 50 points dropped on their head. That's actually disgusting. But it is what it is. The Giants? The Giants defense is going to keep them in games this season, bro. Um, I was telling everybody, Dexter Lawrence, Thibodeau, and Brian Burns on that defensive line is tough. And they got young DBs that are playing hard. Um, I hope they get cooked by the Eagles next week. But, you know, their defense is looking decent. And Danny Dimes is not turning the ball over. 
Neighbors will be back. Wondell Robinson's decent. Darius Slayton's making plays. Um, yeah, I have I got a little bit of faith in them. Now the Jets, two and four, but I think they have a better chance to make the playoffs than the Bengals right now, just because they're playing in their division. Um, I feel like the uh, which McCall's division is a little bit better with the Steelers. Um, the Jets really only have to worry about the Bills, the Dolphins. Unless they get healthy, they might be a problem. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, until then, I'm going to put the Jets as a fringe team. I can't count on Aaron Rodgers, even though he's old as hell. The Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. You know, that's my team. Um, I'm going playoff team. They're 3-2. and two. Got A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith back. Um, Jalen Hurts looked pretty good this week. Even though they won by, like, what, four? It was a much looked like a much bigger win than it really was. But that defense played well. Um, Cooper DeGene and uh, Quinya Mitchell's two good rookies. So, yeah, I think the Eagles are going to get better throughout the season. Um, and, yeah, they don't have the crazy hard schedule right now. Steelers? The Steelers, I think they got four wins. I'm going fringe, though, bro. I'm going fringe because I feel like they're going to do some dumb stuff and put Russ in. But Russ could be good, bro. Russ low-key played well for the Broncos. They were just ass. Um, so I don't know what the Steelers, bro. They got a great defense, and I think they could be a playoff team, but right now I'm going to throw them as a fringe team. The Niners don't look that good, but McCaffrey's going to come back, and everybody's going to remember how good the freaking 49ers are because Fred Warner, Joey Bosa, Hafunga, Charverius Ward, that defense is, uh, yeah, defense is different. Um, Seahawks, they're in between almost ass-ass and mid, but they've lost three games, so I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to put them in almost ass ass because they lost three straight games bro and they probably messed up one of my parlays too so you know i can't mess with teams that mess up my parlays um the bucks that's a playoff team right there um they're looking really good right now uh baker's playing you know the best football we've seen baker play too many picks this week but uh he's playing really well so that's pretty cool to watch the titans that's ass ass bro will levis is not the guy um they have insane receivers i don't understand why they're not good but I actually do because Will Levis is their quarterback. But, yeah, last but not least, we have the Washington Commanders. I'm going to throw them as a playoff team. Shout out the Commanders. We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven NFC teams in here. Yeah, so we really need 14 teams to make up the playoffs. So I'd have to bring in some uh, N- a- AFC teams. Bank One, two, three, four. And then three more, the Steelers. Well, who else is making the playoffs in the AFC? It's wide open for real. But they got like a clear top four teams in the AFC. And then after that, it's 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 rough. So it's gonna be a bad team that makes the playoffs. But yeah, these are the best teams in the league. I'll show you last week. That's what last week last week looked like. Um, a few teams dropped. I changed it up a little bit. Good but injured. It's not early anymore. We're a third way through the season. So if you're not there yet, you're not there. But this is the final list. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you guys want to see next. We got weekly uh, weekly videos of this every week, so make sure you tune in. This was week six. I appreciate y'all for watching, and we out of here. Deuces, baby, y'all.